Hey YouTube, uh, uploading a video tonight. I have some pretty cool news and I'm just trying to get it documented before I forget. Um, I moved here a couple of weeks ago, about six weeks ago now. Uh, I lost two x-ray tetras in the move. One just couldn't handle the stress of the move and then the other uh, I couldn't find in the tank and it died. Um, so I was down two tetras, I only had six. Uh, then after we moved here, I ran out of the KH booster, the just carbonate booster um, that I had been adding. So I quit adding it and just added general hardness boosters. Uh, the water got a little softer, the pH didn't change too much. And I just ignored it except for one water change since I've been here uh, in the three weeks, in the third week of it being set back up. So besides feeding it all the time, it uh, it was mostly ignored. And then the other night, we noticed there's some baby x-ray tetras. I've counted four fry, uh, but there might be more. Here you can see one of the little guys swimming around right now. Just swam back into the moss. There he is. You can see two of them back here in the Wister or in the crypt. I'm not sure if you can actually see them or not. But there's one of the little guys. Comes another one right there. So I've so far counted four. There might be a fifth that's small enough to still be eaten by the other fish in here. I don't even know which ones bred them, and I tried to breed these x-ray tetras before, putting them in a breeding box and pairing them off and everything. There's a little one. But, uh... I just, I couldn't get them to breed when I forced it. And then I ignored the tank for a couple of weeks. The pH dropped. Not much, just a little bit. The temperature has been consistently 81 degrees. Uh, my pleco's here. I don't know if you can see. There you can see it moving around. My L400 pleco's are all doing well. I lost that one a while ago. Oh, you can't see it. There's one hiding down here. My plecos are the ones that I really want to spawn. Oh, there's a tiny little one. There's the cat. But you can see there's a good one. I have four or five of these little guys now, so I actually have more than died off. I'm really excited that just kind of accidentally happened. But there's at least four now, and they're all big enough that they won't get eaten. There's a good view of my pleco, too. Oh, and a baby. Oh, how nice of him to get in the frame. So they're starting to join the school, at least he is, he's getting big enough. But uh, the others, they still have a little bit of growing to do. I'm really excited, that's exactly what I set this tank up to be. You can see my crypts are really growing into a forest. But I wanted this tank to be as low maintenance as possible. I've got four nerite snails in there that keep the glass clean. You can see I have a little bit of blackbeard algae up here. I'm not too concerned. It'll go away when I change the water, but I'm not really too eager to change anything, given that I have these babies. I'd rather not cause any sort of swing in water parameters for another couple weeks until they're a little bit bigger. Yeah. 
so I'll just sit back and watch the tank a little bit and then that'll be it. The largest of the babies likes to hang in front of the lava rock there, near where he was swimming around with the pleco. I also just fed the tank, that's why it's so active and why the plecos are out. There's two babies out in front of the rock right now. There you can see the babies in comparison with the adults. Garami is still doing really well. Alright, thanks for watching YouTube. Sorry this one ran a little long.